And now we turn our attention to the uh, the world of the arts and uh, different uh, type of arts as well as uh, taking off in Dublin at the moment with the uh, focus on the macabre. It's a project called uh, Gallery X, which is taking place uh, down in Herbert Street at the moment. It opened a couple of weeks ago and uh, one of its uh, creators is here with me uh, in the studio, Giovanni Giusti of uh, Gallery X. Welcome to Good Morning Dublin. Thank you very much. Good morning. Uh, And uh, just to, I suppose, outline what uh, the gallery itself has been going, I think, for about six years. Uh, how, How did that all come about? Oh, the gallery actually opened in December 2014. Okay, uh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but, uh, so we're kind of newcomers, really. Although the, the space where we are today in Herbert Street is actually a space that has been a gallery for many years. It was called the Pepper Canister Gallery before. Uh, yeah. Um, but we're completely unrelated except for having occupied the same space. Um, Gallery X started uh, because um, we, uh, myself and Fiona Killeen, who's my partner in crime, if you wish, uh, uh, felt that there was something missing in the art world in Dublin, um, which is maybe uh, shows that were a bit more daring and meaningful than what was available around, uh, while at the same time uh, being, you know, art that was very beautiful to look at Mm. and very skillfully made. Um, In a way, uh, we felt that the art world in Dublin was a bit too safe and too uh, easy to look at. And we wanted to show things that were a bit Uh, more challenging. Yeah, could you explain what the what what a, a dark artist, so to speak, uh, to give it a more general title? I know it is, but what do they, what do what do they what what well, are they trying to communicate well, with their art? I suppose. Uh, well, the art, yeah. the dark art, is in a way, um, or the macabre art, as the, um, the 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 name implies, is art which looks at uh, we could say uh, the most important. Uh, aspects of human life which is the body and the way that the body changes maybe even after after death or mm. uh, uh, the the body uh, really looked at in a sort of detached and interested way uh, that can be kind of the general uh, the, the general thread of dark art in general of course then a lot of the artists prefer uh, to have you know dark backgrounds or mm. to use very muted tones, and often they use techniques which are reminiscent of the old masters, uh, rather than being modernist and okay. clean. Uh, but that's you know an accident, if you want, uh, of style. It's also kind of to show that we're, uh, I suppose, different artists have their different interpretations, but we're all the kind of because I was looking at the, the pictures, you know, of skulls and then things like that that. Uh, we're all human, we're all flesh and bones. Uh, exactly, to, exactly. Yeah. Uh, now, the, the the particular show that is on now is called the Macabre Gallery Show uh, because it was organised together with an online gallery called the Macabre Gallery, which is actually based in Spain. Mm. Uh, and they uh, gathered this particular collection for display in Gallery X. Uh, but even the previous shows that we had uh, were very... Uh, much focused on dark or occult art, and uh, so and the um, and the next shows that we have planned are also very much based on the exploration of the body. Hmm. Uh, can you tell us? Just give us some of the artists that, that are on there, because these are new. These artists have never really got the chance to have their work, uh, so it's an exciting time, you know, in this country. So you can g- give us an outline of some of the artists and what they'll they'll bring to the proceedings. Well, of, in this particular show, only one artist uh, is resident in Ireland and has ever been shown here. All the others are um, absolutely new to this country. Uh, the best known is uh, probably Saturno Butto, who is an Italian painter. Um, he's already in his 50s and who paints these very beautiful Caravaggio-esque uh, group, uh, mm. group paintings that, you know, with incredible realism and an incredible use of chiaroscuro. Sorry if I just, I hope I don't <laughs> throw yeah, it Tell, tell us these. what that is, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Uh, very realistic in a way, but okay. also incredibly uh, striking 
um, uh, and really also playing with our reactions when it comes to the human body and uh, and with comes to uh, the relationship with with death or or, mm. or, or and beauty. Um, another well-known painter is uh, Mikael Hutter, who in ha instead hails from Germany, and who is in a way a follower of Hieronymus Bosch. So again, very much references uh, of the old masters. Um, the only Irish resident of all the artists uh, who's actually Polish in origin and is called Thomas Allen Copera. Uh, he also has these beautiful um, works which remind you maybe of Tiepolo instead of all these you know Baroque uh, cloud uh, okay. uh, with angels and 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 so on. But the, the the collection is very diverse. Also geographically, we have works from a Mexican artist called Arturo Esparza, um, who paints essentially still lives, but again, very, um, yeah. very, uh, very human. And also Sandra Yagi, who is from California. So a very international show. Yeah, it, and um, with the... Uh with the style as well you're saying it goes back it's not necessarily modernist that um did this uh did this i suppose uh, have its roots in when the in the early 20th century as well you had more of a shift from what i know and correct me i'm not an expert <laughs> uh to uh towards the traditional kind of portrait style paintings to a more uh abstract uh, uh look at, at the world as well does that does, does it kind of have its roots in that as well Yes, but of course, you know, nobody can completely ignore what happened in the past hundred years uh, when it yeah. comes to the style. But at the same time, they maintain a more traditional, uh, but traditional in a good sense, uh, approach to art, which is a representational, if you wish. So you look at something which has been created and painted by the artist and, and it actually looks like something. Mm. Uh, it, it isn't uh, something which you have to interpret through the medium yeah. of your art education. It is actually something that you see in itself, uh, which is a, a feature which is a bit lost in a lot of uh, art, you know, after the, after the Second World War in a way, uh, it has sort of gone away. Yeah, uh, as well, uh, you're saying that it, for a while, uh, and the, the kind of press release thing I, I got that the 60s and 70s you had a strong avant-garde movement as as, as well uh, you were saying here with Ireland I think there's talked about or yourself and Fiona maybe that the um, the art that you see is uh, is very safe yeah. as you say um, very traditional and that uh, that doesn't does that sit well with you or not? No. Not really no, no but I mean, don't, I, mean I, I don't want to I mm. mean this is not it's not like I think that there's something wrong with conceptual or abstract art, uh, um, but bizarrely, I think that it actually is more revolutionary today to show representative art than to show conceptual art, which seems to be the mainstream and seems to be mm. even what they teach in school. Uh, whereas uh, actually teaching to create an image which will uh, please, but at the same time challenge the viewer is something mm. which, first of all, is very hard to do and also doesn't seem to be really part yeah. of what is taught anymore. So in a way, it has turned for full circle and uh, traditionally uh, executed, executed art is probably more revolutionary now. Mm. So you're, you're trying to, uh, this is, that's maybe a, you're talking about you, you see yourself more like a... Um, like what, what the National Gallery would be here in a, in a way, is it? Is, is yeah, well, that would be great. I mean, as well, just open a public public to <laughs> oh, yeah, that uh, would be great. open their fact, minds as well. Yeah. It isn't really like yeah. a, a, a shop of pictures. It is uh, an offshoot, in my head at least, of a museum. Uh, we painted the, 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 the gallery uh, in dark colours, for example, um, a bit on the example mm. of the British Museum, uh, sorry, of the National Gallery in London. Uh, rather than the usual white box, which is standard of uh, contemporary art galleries. Um, also, we have done something which I thought was really uh, funny, but I, I think people are still slightly disoriented by, 
which is we made fridge magnets of a number of works as if we oh. were just showing, you know, oh. as people can buy a fridge yeah. magnet of the Mona Lisa, yeah, so they can yeah. buy a fridge yeah. magnet of some of the works that we have, Brilliant. which is, uh, again, trying to look more like an, an mm. offshoot of, uh, of the National Gallery. And in fact, a lot of people call us to say, d is there an admission charge? Because they assume it's going to be Oh, a museum yeah, a, rather than a uh, commercial art gallery. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so I would like everyone to know that no, there isn't an admission okay. charge. No admission charge, folks. And as well, I you kind of want to, it's important for you to, to act as a like a support network to those who may have felt their art wouldn't have gotten a, a place uh, maybe in some, some other galleries as well, just to get, give people an upstart or so people without, you know, a uh, huge profile at the moment. Is well, that, absolutely. Yeah. We I have actually, there's a number of artists that we have uh, spoken to and they were delighted that they had a venue for art which was okay. more in, in tune with what they wanted to do. And some of them actually, who I whose work I, I loved, and they said, well, finally, if you want to show it, I can make okay. some things that... Yeah, Giov sorry, we're oh, yeah, times okay. against the Giovanni Giusti of Gallery X. It's down at Herbert Street, the Mission is free. Check 